I will start with the top one and work my way down. Uh, not sure which one is going to be the headliner, but there is a guaranteed headliner uh, in here. There's going to be one headliner in the three uh, baseballs. Photo headliner, that is. Not open up. Uh, baseballs only break in a hot minute. And this right here is what the series is all about, Stephen. Uh, this is in the listing, but it is not a photo headliner, uh, which is just staggering to think about because we have one of the best baseball players of all time, uh, Frank Robinson. I'm going to wow. hold this uh, on the seams here, Bob. I know Bob was saying that in the chat yesterday. Frank Robinson, a uh, baseball, an absolute legend, 14-time uh, All-Star, two-time World Series champion, He's had a gold glove, a batting champion, a home run leader, a first ballot Hall of Famer, Frank Robinson, uh, an absolute legend. Uh, so I got to look this up, actually. His longest tenure, uh, I'm going to confirm, because I know he was an Oriole, but he played with the Reds as well. Uh, only MVP for both leagues. Uh, so let's see here. He played the most games for Cincinnati. I always think of him as an Oreo person, but he was a red the longest. Uh, so Cincinnati I think is you think the... of Brooks Robinson. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking Brooks of. Brooks yeah. Robinson is their third base. Yeah. yeah. But Frank Robinson was great, oh, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Both Robinsons. Uh, so NL Central, Scott Deans. Very nice on the Frank Robinson uh, baseball there. So that's awesome. Remember when you pulled that Justin uh, Herbert Chargers Oregon helmet? I do, Brandon. That was one of the sickest helmets I've ever seen here at UA. Uh, good ball, says Joe. Absolutely good ball. I'm going to call this LD Baseball so I can fit these names uh, here on the screen. Nice hit there, uh, Scott Deans. Man, an absolute legend here in Frank Robinson, Stephen. That's how we do it here at UA. That is very much how we do it. And that was not the photo headliner uh, in here. Nuts. So we have at least one ball that, in theory, should be better. Although these are obviously personal preference, as we know. Yep. Uh, what is deemed the best uh, does depend on what you like. Like, for me, I'm a Mizzou fan. Max Scherzer's a Mizzou player. Um, Max Scherzer, for me, is better than Aaron Judge. Uh, but for most guys in the room, Aaron Judge is better, right? It really depends on what you like. Uh, it was wearable, Brandon. If you want to wear it, you can, because it was a Speed Flex. Uh, so the Speed Flexes are wearable. I don't recommend it per se, but you can wear them. Now that is your own decision, right? Next one in our loaded dice uh, triple box break. Oh, here we go. Uh, here's a guy that I loved as a kid. Uh, one of the most iconic nicknames, the Big Hurts. Frank Thomas right here. Ooh. Uh, this is super cool. Uh, one of the few guys all time that was just so good at hitting for average and hitting for power, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times you got one or the other. Uh, with Frank Thomas, it was very much both. Uh, one of the best designated hitters ever. Uh, Five-time All-Star, two-time MVP, first ballot Hall of Famer, 301 average, and 521 career home runs. AO Central, Jared Baumgartner, the big hurts. Uh, very cool. Very, very cool. Four, three Cubs. Let's go. Yeah. Well, good. Everybody's happy now. Breaks are hot. The Cubs are hot. Uh, good stuff here. Uh, nice says Darcy. Nice says Joe. Uh, someone won a Rook Rockies Chris Bryant sign helmet the other day. I'm interested in a trade for it. Also, someone won a Ken jersey. From Ted Lasso, I'm interested in that as well. Michael, honestly, I'd be interested in both if I could play the breaks. Those are both awesome, awesome hits. Uh, Ted Lasso is my favorite television show, Stephen. Uh, Roy Kent's my favorite character in the show. So uh, very, very cool. And then Chris Bryan, obviously, as a Cub fan, one of the all-time great Cubs. And even though his Rockies career is not quite 
uh, what his Cubs career was, still an awesome, awesome item. And a lot of that is injuries, right? I mean, once you get hurt, it's kind of tough to fully come back. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately for him, just nagging injuries. Mm -hmm. Not even like major, but just nagging injuries over time. I mean, when you're having to face guys who throw 100, and then they have those wicked sliders and curveballs, and you're not at 100% and you have to hit those, life can be tough. Life can be tough. So one more. Like I said, once they see what's coming out of this series, they will jump in these breaks, right, Steven? True. Very I true. mean, this is all high-end baseballs, all big names. There is zero filler hits. We just had Frank Robinson, Frank Thomas. Not who do we? And neither one of them were the headliner, Steven. Now, this is the headliner here, the photo headliner at least. Who could it be? Oh, my goodness. Uh, we got ourselves... The strikeout king himself, 5,714 oh. strikeouts. Put it right there on the ball. The great Nolan Ryan. Ooh. Uh, Beckett certified uh, most strikeouts in baseball history. Uh, that's the AO West. That is Joe. What's up, Joe? Nolan Ryan baseball. And again, you could argue for any one of these three. Like if you sit here and say the best hit was Nolan Ryan, I would be like, that's fair. You yeah. say the best hit is Frank Thomas, I'd be like, that's fair. Mm -hmm. You say the best hit is Frank Robinson, I'd say that's fair as well. Uh, so what is headliner is obviously subjective, uh, but seven career no-hitters for him. First ballot Hall of Famer, uh, eight-time All-Star, 11 times uh, led the league in strikeouts. 11, Stephen. That's incredible. Uh, my goodness. Uh, awesome, awesome hit. Uh, Joseph, he says, no way, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no way indeed. Nolan Ryan. 